Welcome back to another episode of Zillow Gone Wild. Today, we will be exploring Canadian rap icon Drake's $100 million mega mansion. In total, the property is 50,000 square feet and features an NBA-sized basketball court, indoor pool, music studio, private lounge area, and so much more. Located in the Bridal Path neighborhood in Toronto, Canada, Drake's mega mansion known as the Embassy was designed by Canadian architectural and interior designer Ferris Rafauli. The Embassy took six years to finish construction and was built with each room carefully and meticulously designed. With old world craftsmanship, the Embassy was made with luxury materials including limestone, bronze, exotic woods, gold, and hand-cut crystals. As Drake put it, because I was building it in my hometown, I wanted the structure to stand firm for 100 years. I wanted it to have a monumental scale and feel. Drake then added, it will be one of the things I leave behind. So it had to be timeless and strong. From the outside, the Mega Mansion has an architectural design similar to Beau Arts architecture with a contemporary feel to it. The designer Raffaoli described it as a proper 19th century limestone mansion with exterior profiles that are more minimal and the lines being cleaner. Outside the house, you will find a gated entrance with massive walls covering the property. Near the front of the house, there is a motor court and terrace area. Given how many guests Drake may have, it makes sense that he has chosen to build out a large motor court area in the front. Inside the embassy, you will find an official NBA-sized court that is painted to match Drake's lifestyle brand, October's very own, or OVO for short. The basketball court has a stunning 21-square-foot skylight in the center, showcasing the level of detail that went into it. One nice touch is the upstairs viewing room, filled with candy machines, and where you watch any games on the court from. Whether it's a full court game or just pick up basketball with Drake, the embassy has it covered. Walking through the main entrance, you will see two cause sculptures on each side of the door. Covering the floor, there is escarpment lightwood and Nero Maquina black marble coming all the way from northern Spain. The most impressive part of the entrance is the custom bronze and solid marble chandelier designed by Raffaoli himself. This one-of-a-kind chandelier takes inspiration from Lobmeyer's iconic Metropolitan Chandelier in New York City. Moving on to the living room, which is over 44 feet high, you'll see in the very corner a stunning piano. Made by Austrian piano maker Bosendorfer, this concert grand piano features custom designs from Ferris Raffaoli and Takashi Murakami. Given Drake is a musician, it makes sense that he would not just want any piano in his house, but a handcrafted quality piano with an authentic design to it. A few steps from the living room, there is a trophy room that showcases the five Grammy Awards he's won and any other music awards. The kitchen area on the main floor includes a huge white marble counter space and a mix of white and dark brown kitchen cabinets. The kitchen table includes a booth on one end and eight chairs surrounding the table enough to fit 15 people. Going through one of the main hallways, you will see walls of basketball jerseys that have been collected over the years. One of the most over the top part of the property is the bathrooms. When you open the door, the toilet automatically opens on its own and begins playing soothing sounds. It then lights up with neon lights, and while you're doing your business, it plays Tupac's 1996 Hit 'em Up song on repeat. Next up, we have one of the most iconic rooms in the entire house, the 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite. Surrounding the master bedroom, there is an additional 1,100 square feet of covered terrace space. Having come from Raufili's exclusive line for Hastings, the bed is known as Grand Vividus. The bedding includes an Alexander McQueen hummingbird tapestry produced by the Rug Company, and the nightstand features Mother of Pearl inlays. As Drake put it, the bedroom is where I come to decompress from the world at the end of the night, and where I open my eyes to seize the day. Behind the bed's headboard, there is a mirror with a champagne and whiskey bar on the other side. Going to the master bathroom, you'll find a 4,000 pound tab made from faceted black marble that was carved from a single block and had to be brought into the house by a crane. The vanity of the bathroom also uses Nero Marquine black marble and is stunning to look at. 
Drake's two-story closet is also huge, adorned with rock crystals, amethyst hardware, and a couch polished with nickel studs. Whether it's a sneaker collection, luxury wardrobe, or a set of high-end Hermes Birkin bags, all his luxury pieces, he can display in his closet. In summing it up, Drake said, The bed lets you float, the shower lets you escape and gather your thoughts, and the closet makes you want to talk to yourself while you're getting dressed. Even going floor to floor in the embassy, you can see some beautiful marble star chandeliers made by Rafaoli that are suspended from the ceiling. These match especially well with the walls surrounding them. In the lounge of the embassy, there is a bright gold bar area that is surrounded by yellow chairs, couches, and a unique chandelier. This room has a high luxury feel to it and is perfect for hosting events. When it comes to making music, there is a world-class recording studio, which Drake feels is a cross between a 1970 recording studio and the private club Annabelle's in London. From the star-covered ceiling to the brown stone that illuminates the room, this room can best be described as another gem in the embassy. In the embassy, you will also find an indoor pool made with black granite and surrounded by purple neon lights that can be adjusted to change the atmosphere of the room. Surrounding the pool, there are custom-designed couches made from ostrich skin and bronze on both sides for guests to relax in. The room's main feature is the hexagonal piece made up of panels covered with suede and are backlit to create a mesmerizing look. The backyard area of the property is also quite nice, featuring a massive pool that is near the size of a lake. There are also multiple balconies on the second floor overlooking the pool, plenty of green space, and a patio with couches for when guests visit the house in the summer. To have complete privacy in the backyard, there is also tall bushes surrounding each of the backyard walls. If you ever go to visit the embassy, you will see just how massive the walls are surrounding the property. Just outside the entrance, there is three security guards providing Drake with 24-hour security, given how well of a public figure he is. In 2021, there was even an incident where a woman carrying a knife attempted to break into the embassy and allegedly struck a security guard with a pipe. Hopefully, no other issues arise anytime soon. When asked about the embassy, Drake said, it's overwhelming high luxury. That message is delivered through the size of the rooms and the materials and details of the floors and the ceilings. I wanted to make sure people can see the work I've put in over the years reflected from every vantage point. It's clear that no expense was spared and the quality that went into building and designing this house. Which part of Drake's mega mansion did you like most? Was it the indoor pool, master bedroom, or something else? Is there anything you think Drake should add to it or you think is over the top? Let us know down below in the comments and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week.